praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you so much for always watching. My name is Ariel Alzwechi, and I'm going to read the Father's word with you. The book of Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter 40, when Ezekiel was shown the temple's vision. Let's dive in. It says, chapter 40, verse 1. In the five and the twentieth year of her captivity, in the beginning of the year, in the tenth day of the month, in the fourteenth year, after that the city was smitten, in the selfsame day, the hand of the Lord was upon me and brought me hither. Hallelujah. That self same day of captivity, the hand of God was upon Ezekiel and brought him hither. Verse 2 says, In the visions of God brought he me into the land of Israel and set me upon a very high mountain, by which was at the frame of a city on the south. And he brought me either, and behold, there was a man whose appearance was like the appearance of a brass, with a line of flax in his hand and a measuring reed, and he stood in the gate. And the man said unto me, Son of man, behold, with thy eyes and ear with thy ears, and set thy heart upon all that I shall show you. Can you remember three entrance points? The eyes, the ears, and the heart. For to the intent that I may show thee unto thee that thou brought either, like I have brought you here to show you these things, declare all that thou seest to the house of Israel. Hallelujah. God brought Ezekiel into a high mountain so that he could see what he wants to declare to the Israelites. He told him that you will receive the eyes to see, you will receive the ears to hear, you will even have the mind, your heart will understand. That is our portion in the name of Jesus. Father, wherever you are showing us, we don't, you, might be, you might be in our high mountain, we don't know, but Lord God Almighty, whatever vision you are showing us, Father, give us the eyes that see, give us the ears that on the ears, and give us the hearts that understand in the name of Jesus. And Father, Lord God Almighty, because you are very, very, you give instruction and very specific, help us to know if it's what we should declare or what should we should be districts about in Jesus' name. Amen. The word of God is so, so big beautiful as in i don't even know how to quantify it there's no vocabulary to explain how it is just go about your day knowing that the lord will give you eyes what he wants you to see once you want to see here you will hear it and once you want you to understand you will understand god bless you share subscribe and the love of god go out there through you